Hey, Jason Moss here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a subdomain in your WPX hosting account. All right, it's very simple, but WPX does not use cPanel, so it is a little bit different for some folks. I think it's actually much, much easier than trying to learn cPanel. So when you log in into your WPX hosting account, um, you're going to come to this screen here. So you can get to the spot in a number of different ways, but I like to just click on manage, actually click on WordPress hosting. All right, come to this and then manage all sites in this account. Okay, and this is my test account where I'm doing a lot of different uh, tutorials. Now, once you're to this page, you're just gonna click on websites slash SSL. Okay, and this will show you the different websites that you have loaded in your WPX account. All right, so this uh, example account, I only have the one here, all right, but this is how you create the subdomain. You actually go to add new website, click on this. You have this little box pop up and you can choose, do you wanna add a completely new website, which that is what top level domain is. So if you were adding like, you know, jwmoss2.com or some other website, you would use top level domain but for a subdomain we want to click on the the box hit subdomain of and then we choose our domain and we're making the subdomain on the jwmoss.com okay now this subdomain we're just going to name it like we'll just name it test so it'll be test.jwmoss.com okay and you can see it spells it all right out there for you so hit create website takes just a few minutes here okay so it has uh, created the subdomain test.jwmoss.com and now that it is created you can see it here in your account you can see it where uh, on the website screen now what we have to do of course though is we have to install WordPress on that subdomain so it's just like it was before you can see the SSL is already done they do that automatically for you which is great so we just click on install WP and wait for the box to pop up. Shouldn't take long at all. All right, looks like you don't have any existing installs under this domain. So install WordPress. You have the same box pop up just like last time. Database, um, you can leave that the same. Um, admin email, you can leave the same if you like admin username you're gonna to have to create something there for that so obviously I'm gonna change all this so if you guys try to log into it, it's not gonna be correct um, but let me just create this real quick actually we'll just generate one there we go and we'll copy it of course because I don't want to forget that alright and then you can hit deploy WordPress And you can check that if you already had a WordPress installation and you want like a, a fresh one, of course. Um, this does not have an installation right now, so it doesn't matter if that's checked or not. All right, and we'll deploy. And then this will finish up here real quick. Okay, took about 20 seconds or so. You get this dialog box that pops up. Uh, once again, you're going to want to copy your password. And once again, this is going to be changed, so don't even try to log in. doesn't matter. Okay, so that is done. And because this is a subdomain, we do not have to change name servers or anything like that. We don't have to wait for any propagation as well, because that is already done on the main domain, jwmoss.com. Okay, because this is a test and it's a subdomain, the propagation and the name servers, that's already completed. So we can go to this right now and it should be up. And of course it's not because I'm doing a tutorial. Um, let's see here. And maybe I'm cached. I could be cached because I tried to open it. All right, so I just double checked and the subdomain test.jwmoss.com is up, it is live. I can't show it to you right now because I am cached really bad. Um, it's been over an hour since I made the subdomain, 
but I checked it on my phone on cellular service and it pulls up just fine. Um, I even checked it with some uh, some web tools and it's it's showing up everywhere across the internet. It's just not showing up on my local Wi-Fi because it's just cached. Um, I tried clearing it, but for some reason it's it's not pulling up. Um, it's just cached pretty hard. But everything is working fine, and that is how you install the subdomain on your WPX hosting domain. Okay, if you are running into the, into the same caching type of problem, sometimes you just have to give it more time. Just but if you have any kind of questions or uh, comments, just leave them below and I'll be happy to help. If you have a future request on another video, um, also let me know. I'm happy to make those for you. Uh, but have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.